What is the business imperative for all this storytelling nonsense? This sounds great and everything. It sounds really nice and kumbaya and all that, but this isn't romper room. We're not running a daycare. Storytelling is not why we're here. This is not our job. We're here to get stuff done and impact the company's bottom line. Agreed, 100%. And if it didn't make sense, I wouldn't be talking about it as much as I do. <laughs> Here's two things to really understand about what is the business imperative. The first one is the most important. If you are in an organization where you're trying to transition from a command and control leadership model and you're struggling with transitioning to more innovation and more design-driven thinking and distributed leadership, storytelling is a method that will be essential for how you make that transition. If people are used to getting their direction, their activities that they have to do every day from a leader who tells them what to do and then you're switching to a model where people need to come up with their own ideas of what to do yes your leader has objectives but you should be out there generating ideas and being little l leaders of on your own if you're just telling people that you're kind of putting them in a very awkward situation you've trained them up in a very specific way and then all of a sudden you're saying do something completely different and you're not giving them any of the skills or capabilities how to do that there may even be a lot of deep ingrained fear or anxiety around doing that because previously in a very command and control organization, that probably would have been a very risky proposition. With storytelling, you have the ability to give people a framework for how to create or generate ideas of their own, both in their teams for the work they're working on together and individually for the goals they have for themselves. Storytelling is also how way better than bullet points better than long written plans better than slideshow presentations it's better than any of those methods for distilling the vision that should compel people to go through painful change and what it means and what's coming next being able to tell stories at all levels of the organization not just at the highest level of the organization is what makes the difference between an organization that is engaged and excited and has been fully recruited into a change initiative versus an organization where people are compliant in the change but are grumbling, they're stressed about it, they're feeling confused, afraid, and a great sense of loss. Executive leadership is going to look at and go, why is everybody dragging on the implementation of this thing? It's because they have no reason that's propelling them forward other than compliance. And in a state of change, most people are so emotionally triggered that their performance is much lower. Even if they are complying, they're complying at such a base level that it barely looks like anything is happening at all. So when you're able to leverage story, one, it's a very portable method to distill what it means to be a leader from top leaders down to middle and frontline leaders. It's a way to help your change initiatives actually have traction and move at a pace that is required for change. There's also a way to transition your organization from being a command and control organization to being an organization driven by ideas and innovation.